Why, hello, YouTube modeling community. That's right, it's the fat man from Alabama coming at you from Don's Garage. Well, this is part two to the uh, front axle discussion, or we'll call it. All right, you seen what I've done with the axle as far as making a straight tube, hanging the spring. I'm gonna grab my little T handle off of it again for it. Let me take a couple things apart. I kind of pre-assembled. Alright, I told you when I cut the axle off, the ends off, I saved that part. The reason why, you still need a mounting point for the wheel. Now there's two ways of going about this. And this axle, like I said, is for demonstration purposes. So, here... I built the uh, the kingpin area, or well, yeah, I glued a piece of tubing there to simulate the kingpin. Still can't see. I can't, I'm sure. Yeah. That looks a little better. Alright, what I've done is I did a little subtle fish mouth. Oh, look, it broke. See, I didn't get enough glue. Or it dried a little quicker. Anyway. I slightly fish mouth this end so the rod could glue in, have a little more contact surface. And you can see it's uh, rather subtle, but right there it is. Now that's you know, relatively simple to do with basic hand tools. Um, what I do is, I'm going to have to keep that over here. Here's the rod I used. Now what I do is take my trusty little measuring stick here. And if we can get this thing, hey, it's going to focus a little bit. I pick out a couple of lines. I don't have to be at any, but see, it fits between three. Well, if it fits between three and there's one in the middle, there's the middle. So I'll Put me a little pencil hash mark at the middle point. Um, do that. Let's switch things up because I am left-handed. And I simply, I find that mark. And it is good to put it on each, kind of get it on each side. I'll make a cut in it this way. Along that line. Cut in just a little bit. You don't have to go deep. Then I take my snap blade. <clears throat> I'll get on the end and I kind of give it a little notch this way and then a little notch this way into the cut line that gives me a little bit of a V in there and then I take my round rat tail file slowly work it because the rat tail is actually a little larger diameter you can work up here on the end but the end's tapered so you have a tendency to get the cut going this way or this way and you're still going to get that even down here because basically the human hand when it moves it moves in an arch so it's just a natural reaction I do that a little bit um, I'll do a little then I'll take my little piece I want to make a bracket for that uh, take my little piece and I'll fit it and I'm not getting real it's not like I'm breaking out the square or something to make sure it's just perfectly parallel. But I try to get it close. I eyeball it. Um, you can use a real good square corner of a piece of sheet plastic, whatever. You don't have to have a square, but if you want to get a little, if you want to get real particular about it, I would do that, both top and bottom, uh, to square it up. And that's what you get right here. Now what you can do there then is trim these to any length you want. Also doing this, you can move the center down a little bit, up a little bit. I wouldn't get too carried away of moving it off center of the tube because then it kind of looked a little funky. But anyway, cut this off, say, roughly about right there and roughly about right there. Then you can scratch build um, 
your bat wings that your your bat wing spindle so the wheel has something to mount on you can get serious uh, drill this piece all the way out or use a piece of 80 thousandths tubing where you've already got a hole you can pin it to where the the bat wings will work you know you make steerable linkage steerable front end that way like I said we're not going to get too intense with this now what I've done both for demonstration purposes and time is you seen where I have saved the ends that I just dropped well here's the other one I've cut the remaining part of the axle that was part of it did a little center punch which I'm a fudge off it didn't really center it but eh, again this is for demonstration purposes so when you're building this do a better job of centering the hole than I did now that's a 564 drill bit drilled into there which is 80 thousandths I taper the end of the axle ever so slightly so I get a good decent little push in boom there it is now you can do that on both sides you have a straight axle now this on a public street would drive like uh, it probably drive worse than a dump truck with a flat tire but this is on a drag car you know, it's going to go a quarter of a mile as fast as possible. The weight transfer is going to be going to the back, so the front's going to be a little light. Shouldn't, it's probably still a handful of steer, but not as bad. Okay. Well, why I keep moving that? I keep needing it. All right, let's put a prop up behind it. Maybe this will help. Hey, we'll go there. If I've got it set far enough back, and I don't. Okay. <laughs> Alright, here we have the 34 Ford truck fenders with the frame kind of clamped in. What I'm going to do here is I have a wheel and tire to help with demonstration. Now, this tire is too wide and too tall, but it's what I had right on hand, meaning just to the left of me. Alright. And this just kind of sticks there. I don't want to glue it on just yet. Anyway. There. Now, if I can balance all this, it'll give you an idea how much lift we got. Slider into the mounting tab in the center. That's not going to cooperate. <laughs> all right, fellas, let me do this kind of behind the camera. Yeah, I'm beginning to understand why Fred Henry said you need an overhead camera to do this. Because uh, I'm trying to work around the camera without shaking it like crazy and getting everybody dizzy, including myself. Alright, hold on, fellas. I'm close. And here we go. Now, that's a pretty good bit of clearance right there and the axles kind of rolled back on my thumb so it'd get a couple more thousands lift but that's that way now kind of remember that image because i've got the dropped axle the one that i dropped where i've modified it just a little bit now let's put this one in here to show you how low you can get it and with remembering the image from just a minute ago you get the true idea of how much lift we got there it is so you got a nice tuck right here or you get a nice little well come on come on come on A nice lift now if that's not enough lift but wait there's more 
Let's take it apart. That way I can handle this thing a little easier. Again, going through photos, you could take and cut this off all the way across the very top spring and make, take some more plastic, uh, some more evergreen if you've got it, and build a raised block to go here. Now what I've seen in a lot of photos, that one was a 34 Ford, and the front wheels, I kid you not, they was every bit down here. They were hanging way down. That thing had a set of shocks on it that would probably fit a four-wheel drive today in length. So, you put your block right there. Take some wire, simulate the, the U-clamps that hold it all together. And move the axle further away from the chassis, which would lift, lift the front end even more. Well, fellas, I hope that helps anybody, one person, two people, uh, just trying to share what I know. That being said, if this is your first time watching the video and you found something useless, hey, consider subscribing to the channel. Hit the like button. Drop a comment below. Love reading them. <coughs> also, share it with your friends. They might find something interesting and learn something. Maybe. Uh, but yes, Drop a comment below. Hit the like button. Share. My subs have increased tremendously uh, in, in a manner I never expected to happen this fast. And I'm very grateful, fellas. So, that being said, remember, build the model for you. Live, love, and laugh, guys. Let's enjoy this hat. Enjoy this wonderful model. See, my tongue is tripping over my teeth. Let's enjoy this wonderful hobby. This is Don, about to leave the garage and try to get some sleep. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.